All the betas in the beta shorty tank are gone. Redoing the 20 gallon. We also are getting two fish. All right guys, package secured. There is the finished product. What is going on guys? Hope you guys are having a great day. Before we start the video, we're gonna be doing a giveaway at 10,000 subscribers. I think we're gonna be announcing the winner on de December 1st, so stay tuned for that. Uh, the way to enter is you just gotta hit the subscribe button with the post notification bell on, like this video, and uh, for a double entry, which is, you guys got a good chance of winning, for a double entry, go to our Instagram and follow us on Instagram there. And uh, so you stay updated pretty much on every one of our videos, on our day-to-day, -day, everything. So uh, that's how you enter and you got a good chance of winning. So good luck to everyone out there. We're going to be doing these giveaways a lot. So tell your friends, spread the word. We're going to be doing a lot of giveaways. We enjoy them. You're not going to miss it. So hit the subscribe button and get in it. Uh, today, got a little sad news, guys. All the betas in the beta shorty tank are gone. No more. They're all gone. The reason why we got rid of the betas in the first place is because first of all, you guys were commenting a lot that they were gonna get stressed out, which we did observe. They got a little stressed out from the guppies, so <clears throat> we decided it'd be best just give them to our friend because we're gonna be getting a lot of betas from this breeding thing, so we need some room. So we're gonna give, we gave him uh, the, the females. So now when we get a bunch of babies, we, they, have, they have a place to go, you know? So we're not just kind of scrambling. We'll get back into the sorority stuff after breeding, but for now, we're just gonna focus on having one beta, and that's it. So right now that 20 gallon tank is just pretty much guppy tank, and we love it so far. We want to get like so many more guppies in there because they look pretty awesome, but that's where we're at right now. So you just bear with us here because we're gonna be bringing them next week. We got, Jack's got an announcement after I'm done here in the beginning about the vinegar eels, about everything. So we got everything lined up and we are officially ready to start breeding them this or next week, so stay tuned for that, guys. It's You're not gonna wanna miss it, it's gonna be awesome. But anyways, guys, in today's video, we're going to be redoing the 20 gallon for the guppies, and we are going to be getting a couple fish for the salt water. We're doing a lot today, and we are talking about the beta breeding, so all three of those. Anyways, let's get on with the video. Jack's got something to say about those vinegar eels. All right, you guys, so today, the vinegar eels did come in. They came in a few days before we thought they were gonna be in, but, it's not what we were expecting. We have to actually grow these things. Like this is the vinegar eels. Let me hold it up to the light. It's like, I don't know if you guys can see them floating around in there. They did come in and there's a lot of instructions on how to do it and everything. But for instruction number one, we need to leave out a, uh, a cup or, I'm gonna do like a big pitcher because I don't know how much, how, how much water this thing needs. So I'm just gonna do a big pitcher just to cover uh, cover any mistakes but we need to leave out some tap water for one whole day before we start to uh, breed these vinegar well yeah we're basically breeding them well we're kind of making them. right now I need to look for a big pitcher to put some water in because I need to leave it out for one whole day before I start to uh, basically grow these vinegar eels and uh, yeah it's actually gonna be really cool because there's a lot we have to put like a slice of an apple in there we have to do like half a cup of uh, vinegar so it's gonna be kind of cool um, we're not gonna be able to grow them today in this video but I'm just gonna leave out the tap water and then in a future video you guys will see us actually grow them I think it only takes about a week or so I need to read up on it but I'm just gonna put out some um, some water and I just wanted to give you guys a quick update about the beta breeding so the, the vinegar eels are here so basically that time to start breeding the betas Hey you guys, I got my bowl of water. There's Coda. A lot of you guys said put the dogs in more videos. There he is, big Coda bear. All right, um, I'm gonna bring this upstairs and we're gonna leave it out for 24 hours before we start to breed these vinegar eels. And yeah, it's gonna be a really cool process and we can't wait. <laughs> Anyways guys, the water is out. So now let's head to the store and we'll redo this tank. We're back. All right, guys, we are over here at the decor, the driftwood and some stones. We're just, we're kind of just going with the we're flow. We're going with it. I really like this rock. Yeah, we're, I don't know. We're, we're going to pick it all out. You guys will see in the end. We also, we also are getting two fish today because they're on sale, but it's a surprise. You guys will see them back at the house. They are saltwater tank or saltwater tank fish. So we're going to fiddle around with these rocks. Jack's going to go bag those fish. We'll get home and uh, we'll show you the new products. All right, guys, package secured. We got some stuff. 
Uh, we got some fish that is a surprise. You guys will see them in a second. And we got our decorations for our new tank. So let's get to uh, decorating. These are the fish that we got. They were on sale. That's why we ended up buying them. We were just going to buy the stuff for the beta tank. But these fish were on sale and we've been wanting more of them. And they're supposed to be in, in like a school of fish. And we have one of them in there. It is some more Clarkies. Two little Clarkies. Just like that guy. You, you, yep. It's just like him. It's literally exactly this guy, but they're supposed to be together, so. Oh, he got scared. Now we got two more. Now we got two more. I'm, I'm pretty sure he's going to be very happy. So I'm going to put these guys in. Let's go ahead and so acclimate, let's acclimate these, these guys. guys. While we're acclimating, let's go decorate this other tank. There's our little baby panther grouper right there. He's doing well. He's eating brine shrimp. He's getting used to everyone. The big panther grouper absolutely loves him. It's so funny. But I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on these on this little guy. So now let's go redo the beta tank. So, oh by the way, guys, I got we got some iodine for the coral. This will help him open up a little bit more. So now we can get more corals, which I know you guys have been commenting that you want us to get more corals. I agree. Corals will look awesome in there. This will help. And I I kind of we kind of scratched the driftwood. I went with the rock route. I think it's definitely cooler, to be honest with you. We got some rocks for them. I know you guys have been commenting, they need some structure. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put these in, we're gonna make them look cool. I'm gonna move the plants around. You guys will see, it's gonna look different, it's gonna look amazing. Let's get to it. And guys, there is the finished product. That's what we wanted it to look like. That gives them a little more structure. I know it's a little cloudy because of all the, we just kind of rustled all the, the whole tank up, but all the structure will give these guys some space. They can go and hide in these bushes or the plants or even the rocks here. So it'll make everyone just a little bit more comfortable. If someone's annoying one of these fish, they can just go chill in the plant in their little area. So this isn't the absolute finished product. We're probably gonna get another something right here, maybe another plant. But right now I think it looks great. We do want to load it up completely with guppies now. So we got our tetras. We got, I think, six guppies in here. We want to just load it with as many as we can possible to make it really amazingly colorful. And uh, it's going to be awesome. So now that that's done, let's go check on the Clarkies. Put them in the tank, see how they react to the new buddy. All right, you guys, it has been 25 minutes. The Clarkies are just chilling at the bottom of the bag. It is time to put them in. That clerk back there is going to be too stoked to meet these guys. First clerk. <laughs> All right. Oh, he eluded me. He eluded you. The elusive clerk, I'll tell you. They're elusive, but he's going to be absolutely stoked when we put these guys in there. Dude, they're so strong. What the heck? All right, here we go. Whee! He's darting. All right, they're going to try to mess with them, but, but they, uh, the clerkies are way too fast. Especially so. once they're in the school, they, yeah. then they'll be intimidated. Yeah, exactly. Got him. They're extra flared, dude. There's the third. What do we now we got our buddies. <laughs> All right, we got our three Clarkies in there. These guys are gonna try to mess with them, but they are just way too fast. These guys need to find the school, So, man. and then they'll eventually. There we go. All right, yeah, we're so, good. So these, <laughs> these three, they're just gonna hang out together. They're gonna try to mess with them, but they're just way too fast. It's just, there's, no, there's no chance. There's no chance. These guys. They're a bunch of jerks when they get when they get new fish in here. So that's just, I guess, the way clownfish are. All right, and we got this stuff for the coral that we're gonna put in really quick. Three milliliters we need for a 75 gallon tank. It's a milliliter right there. Milliliter, first one. There goes okay. one. Okay, looks like no. Wow. Listen, this, this just, just, the coral's gonna be fine, all right? We're doing everything we can. It's gonna open up. Just give it some time, okay? So the Clarkies are gonna do good in there. We'll keep you guys updated on how they're doing. And we're just gonna call them Three Musketeers because they're just the Three Musketeers. And we got our guppy tank looking good. If there's a specific kind of guppy that you guys want us to get, just leave a comment down below because we don't really, there's multiple guppy like types, I guess. We, we do like the sword tails. We might get a couple of those. So comment down below what you guys want to see in here. I think some other, maybe type of species fish would look cool in here, but um, anything really works out for us. So that is it for today's video. Let us let us know if you guys liked it. Remember, 10K giveaway, 15K fish room. So everyone be ready. Hit the subscribe button. Turn your post notification bells on. 
so that you never miss a video, and we will see you guys in the next one.